the king of the liberal EU-loving Ramonas, James O'Brien of LBC, has come out to talk about how hard his life is as a radio presenter and how a working-class pleb can't do his job as a radio presenter. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> All right, so we all know James O'Brien, right? The guy who just sits there, like me, with his microphone, talks for a living. Tough life. Very tough life, James. He has previously insulted the working class Brits for having an opinion on certain issues. He has previously insulted them for voting to leave the European Union. He has previously insulted them for rejecting socialism and the fact that this country, by nature, is a socially conservative nation. Even if those who are not party politically involved, by nature, they are small c conservatives. Now, we have liberal tolerant views and liberal democracy and economic liberalism, but we are still a nation of families. That is the case. And our tribe protects it. This guy, I'm going to show you this fascinating video of him ranting on LBC about how tough his job is. I, I'm going to say something to you now, and you may not like it. I think this job is harder than manual labour. I, I genuinely think at three. I, I don't know what I would compare it to. Probably flying an aeroplane without autopilot or being an air traffic controller. I'm sorry. What? No. What? <laughs> I'm being a little bit. No, I do actually believe it. Actually, I, I'm, I'm not being. I'm not just doing this for for fun or for provocations. I, I, I honestly think that this job is more exhausting. Because manual labour, you can do eight hours a day. You could not do this for eight hours a day. Even Steve Allen would struggle to do this for eight hours a day. And if you want to hear effortless, tune in to Steve in the morning. I honestly think that I can prove that this job is more exhausting than manual labour. I mean, he's literally saying, he's addressing people who are doing manual labour, listening to his radio show at a building site, for example, saying, I, I assure you, this is harder and you can't do it. You have to be an expert like me. And if it is, <laughs> then why is it there are so many of us doing it? Why is it that literally anyone can put a microphone and a camera in front of them and just talk and we survive and we still have our espresso martinis and our beers at the end of the day? Then you genuinely think that is, do you think it's just about that you have to be able to talk for some time? Do you really think it's about the, the being exhausted? There's a problem. Because on the one hand, when it comes to manual labor and the, the jobs that people have, real people have, you've got the physical exhaustion, but you also have them leaving that job and going home. And there's also the mental craziness that you have to deal with your everyday life and not being able to do all that work and not making enough money. And then you have to go and on the way back home. You have to listen to you, idiot, <laughs> in the car. Now, this guy doesn't want to hear the truth because he's blocked me on Twitter. And, you know, of course, he doesn't want to actually hear the counter arguments because technically his job is not that difficult because he can run away from debate. He doesn't have to be challenged. You know, he gets a lot of his own uh, followers calling in in his radio show. And then they, they pick and mix um, certain people. And then they, he gets his producers to pick an easy target, a, a random Brexiteer, and then completely not allow him to actually talk. He talks over them and destroys them, well, he thinks he's destroyed them, and then say, see, I debated. See, I can I can have a, a, a reasonable discussion with someone from the other side. Really? Are you kidding me with this? You, you <laughs> we are where we are. This job is not a tough job, James. Stop pretending. There are people out there who are suffering, and you're just sitting there laughing at them for having a different opinion than you. It's bad. You need to stop this. But we have to call him out. You know, some people say, well, I did give him more time. Well, because when he's spreading this sort of nonsense, there are some students who are just like going to university, studying lesbian dance theory or whatever, and then they listen to him and say, wow, LBC is credible, apparently. This guy's talking sense. He, he's talking about liberalism. That, I, I agree. Maybe we should listen to him. No, 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 no. Do not listen to James O'Brien. It's a bad idea. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, guys, for all the love and support. We're going to come back. I'm my TC and we are the media.